Talbotville is a city in Marshall County, Alabama, United States, and is included in the Huntsville-Decatur Combined Statistical Area. As of the 2010 census, the population of the city was 21,160. History The area which today includes Albertville was inhabited by the Cherokee Indians until their removal to Oklahoma in the 1830s. It was, however, near the territory of the Creek Nation, and several major trails which afforded communication or military action between the two nations crossed the area. It is believed to have been crossed by Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto during his expeditions in 1540. During the American Civil War, the area around Albertville was the scene of several mid level clashes between Union and Confederate forces. The first non indigenous settlement in what is today Albertville began in the 1850s, and the settlement was named for Thomas A. Albert, an early settler who moved from Georgia and was a town leader until his death in 1876. The city was incorporated in 1891. A post office was established in 1910. At about 4.10 p.m. on April 24, 1908, the city was virtually wiped out by a tornado that became commonly called the Great Cyclone, or the Cyclone of 1908. The storm is believed to have killed 35 people across northeastern Alabama, including 15 in Albertville. Relief was largely delivered by railroad, particularly from the nearby city of Gadsden. Trains from Gadsden transported doctors, nurses, and the Queen City Guards, the Alabama Militia Company based in Gadsden. The commander of the latter, future Gadsden Mayor and Col. R. A. Mitchell, reported in a dispatch to Governor B. B. Comer. The destruction of property here is, I think, unprecedented in the history of the state. I have never seen anything like it, so complete and absolute as to leave little of worth in the path of the storm through town. On viewing the wreckage, covering easily 40 acres or more in the heart of town, it appears incredible that any living being could have escaped the fury of the storm and death. In 1893, the Alabama legislature passed an act for the erection of an agricultural college in each of the state's congressional districts. After some competition, Albertville was awarded the school for the 7th District. This is the school that evolved into today's Albertville High School, whose sports teams are still known as the Aggies. In 1910, Albertville had a population of 1,544. Before the New Deal, when the Tennessee Valley Authority built Guntersville Dam, flooding on the Tennessee River would frequently leave the county courthouse in Guntersville inaccessible for residents of Albertville and other areas atop Sand Mountain. In 1919, the Alabama legislature responded by requiring the erection of a courthouse at Albertville, in which cases arising in that part of the county would be heard. In 1950, Albertville had a population of 5,397. On June 1, 2009, the city council voted to establish English as the town's official language. On April 24, 2010, an F3 tornado ripped through downtown Albertville. The storm resulted in no deaths. The high school was severely damaged, nearly every home had some type of damage, and many were destroyed beyond repair. Geography Albertville is located at 34 degrees 15 minutes 55 seconds north 86 degrees 12 minutes 41 seconds west 84.265362-86.211261 According to the US Census Bureau the city has a total area of 26.0 square miles 67.3 square kilometers of which 26.0 square miles 67.3 square kilometers is land and 0.1 square miles 0.3 square kilometers 0.38% is water the current slogan of albertville is the pride is alive and can be seen on the welcome sign coming into the city topic <laughs> climate <laughs> 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 
Topic: Demographics. Topic: 2000 census data. As of the census of 2000, there were 17,247 people, 6,566 households, and 4,615 families residing in the city. The population density was 664.6 people per square mile per square kilometers. There were 7,090 housing units at an average density of 273.2 per square miles (105.5 per square kilometers). The racial makeup of the city was 86.15% white, 2.05% black or African American, 0.31% Native American, 0.26% Asian, 0.10% Pacific Islander, 9.78% from other races, and 1.35% from two or more races. 16.08% of the population are Hispanic or Latino. By 2007, the Hispanic population was estimated at 25%. In 2000, there were 6,566 households, out of which 32.7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 54.0% were married couples living together, 11.9% had a female householder with no husband present, and 29.7% were non families. 25.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 12.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.59 and the average family size was 3.08. In the city, the population was spread out with 26.0% under the age of 18, 10.1% from 18 to 24, 28.7% from 25 to 44, 20.7% from 45 to 64, and 14.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females, there were 93.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.9 males. The median income for a household in the city was $31,893, and the median income for a family was $38,508. Males had a median income of $30,076 versus $20,275 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,336. About 14.1% of families and 16.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 21.8% of those under age 18 and 21.0% of those age 65 or over. Topic: 2010 census. As of the census of 2010, there were 21,160 people, 7,497 households, and 5,270 families residing in the city. The population density was 813.8 people per square mile (314.9 per square kilometers). There were 8,128 housing units at an average density of 312.6 per square miles per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 75.9% white, 1.9% black or African American, 0.8% Native American, 0.5% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 18.7% from other races, and 2.1% from two or more races. 27.9% of the population are Hispanic or Latino. 
In 2010 there were 7,497 households out of which 34.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 50.5% were married couples living together, 14.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 29.7% were non-families, 24.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.79 and the average family size was 3.27. In the city, the population was spread out with 28.2% under the age of 18, 10.2% from 18 to 24, 28.4% from 25 to 44, 20.7% from 45 to 64, and 12.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 32.3 years. For every 100 females, there were 97.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 104.2 males. The median income for a household in the city was $35,843, and the median income for a family was $41,862. Males had a median income of $30,164 versus $25,700 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,839. About 15.8% of families and 23.6% of the population were below the poverty line, including 35.6% of those under age 18 and 7.6% of those age 65 or over. Education. <inaudible> 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 Public schools are overseen by Albertville City Schools. There are six schools in the city. Big Spring Lake Kindergarten School, Kindergarten Albertville Primary School 1st and 2nd grades Albertville Elementary School 3rd and 4th grades Evans Elementary 5th and 6th grades Albertville Middle School 7th and 8th grades Albertville High School 9th through 12th grades Topic <laughs> Health Care Marshall Medical Center South 150 bed facility serves the region Topic <laughs> <laughs> Industry Albertville is home to the Mueller Company, which produces fire hydrants, thus Albertville holds the title of "...fire hydrant capital of the world." To commemorate the one millionth fire hydrant a chrome fire hydrant was placed outside the Albertville Chamber of Commerce. Albertville is also home to poultry plants operated by Wayne Farms, Pilgrim's Pride, and Tyson Foods. Mitchell Grocery Corporation, located in Albertville, is a wholesale grocery distribution center serving more than 200 independent supermarkets in the southeast. In April 2012, Newman Technology, broke ground on auto parts manufacturing facility in Albertville. This plant will build component parts for Honda, Acura and Subaru and is expected to begin operating in early 2013. Newman was established in 1987 and is a wholly owned subsidiary of Sankei Gikan Kogyo Co., Ltd., of Japan. It is a supplier of fabricated and value-added assemblies to the automotive and recreational vehicle markets with facilities current in Mansfield, Ohio, and Aiken, SC. Topic popular culture When the 1992 Winter Olympics were held in Albertville, France, the citizens of its heteronymic counterpart in Alabama took full advantage of the opportunity to put their town on display. Mock Winter Games were held in this subtropical city, and one New Orleans radio station offered listeners a chance to win a trip to the Albertville Games. Those in Alabama, in 2008, Albertville was featured in an episode in the fifth season of the A&E television documentary series Intervention titled Meth Mountain. 
Among the featured Albertville residents was Dr. Mary Holly, an obstetrician whose methamphetamine addicted brother committed suicide, and who founded the anti methamphetamine group Mothers Against Methamphetamine. Albertville was featured in two episodes of the radio show and podcast, This American Life. The episodes focused on the influx of Latino immigrants in the town's chicken plants and the impact this had on the community. Topic: <laughs> Transportation. US Highway 431, Alabama Highway 75, Alabama State Route 205, Thomas J. Brumlick Field, Albertville Regional Airport, Alabama and Tennessee River Railway. Topic: Notable people. Edward Earl Carnes, Judge, United States Court of Appeals for the Eleventh Circuit. Rusty Greer, professional baseball player with the Texas Rangers. Charlie Hanna, former professional football offensive guard and defensive end John Hanna, professional football offensive lineman, elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame Glenn Hearn, former mayor of Huntsville, Alabama, FBI special agent, Alabama state legislator Angela Little, model, actress, and Playboy Playmate of the Month Ola L. Mize, United States Army officer and recipient of the Medal of Honor for his actions in the Korean War Charlie Pell, former head football coach at Clemson University and the University of Florida Susan Story, utility executive Bobby Thomason, first professional football quarterback to throw for over 400 yards in a single game Gallery <laughs> <laughs>